Hello, my viewers at home, and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel, Daily Express. Please do well to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Also, as Nigerians await the Kogi State's former governor, Yaya Bello, appearance in court, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has warned anyone shielding him from complying with two different court orders to immediately distance themselves from Bello to avoid being prosecuted. The anti-graft agency noted that those shielding him from honoring the court could be dragged before a court for aiding crime in the country. As gathered, the EFC was allegedly referring to the Kogi State Governor Ahmed Ododo, who had been providing the immunity of his office to shield his successor from the anti graft agency arrests. EFC stated this through a statement released yesterday after adding more count charges to the existing ones, revealing that the former governor and two others allegedly converted 110 billion naira public funds into personal use. The agency said those who harbor a criminal suspect should know that the act is also a criminal offense which is also punishable in law. It added that corruption cases were serious criminal offense and should not be turned into a theater of the absurd by any suspect trying to avoid the court. EFC is eager to engage the former governor in the courtroom where the avalanche of evidence so painstakingly assembled can be presented and arguments marshaled for justice to be served to all parties involved in this saga. Corroborating the anti graft agency, a popular legal practitioner, Adeyemi Suleiman, disclosed that a governor shielding a crime suspect could be arraigned and prosecuted for providing cover for a crime suspect after leaving office. Suleiman explained that such action is a criminal offense under the 1999 constitution and does not have an expiration time, saying a governor may be prosecuted for aiding crime after leaving office when the immunity previously enjoyed would have elapsed. He explained that like any criminal offense, that has no time bound for prosecution, so also aiding a crime suspect does not have a time limit that it could not be brought before a court. The legal practitioner added that all required for the anti graft agency and other law enforcement institutions is to collate evidence and strike when they understand that the president or the governor does not have any immunity protecting the actions. My viewers, at home, what's your reaction to this? Uh, the FCC is very, very annoyed because of the governor of Kogi State, who assumed office from um, Yaya Bello, his uh, predecessor. Uh, the former governor, which is Yaya Bello, has been, you know, undercover enjoying the, the, uh, 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 a kind of enjoying the same immunity which the Ododo, Governor Dodo is enjoying because the, uh, it has been uh, seen and uh, uh, understood that uh, the former Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello is being shielded, has been undercover by Governor Ododo of Kogi States. Uh, a good example of that is when the Governor Ododo and the former Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello uh, stormed the EFC office, and according to Top Sources reports, uh, he, he was also there with other uh, top government uh, 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 functionaries and the top politicians in the country. And then uh, they did storm the FC's office uh, uh, going two weeks ago, or rather going two weeks now. And uh, as it is, the FC is not happy and 
they have you know told the former Kogi state governor Abello to appear in court as to uh, court await him. All right, uh, it is yes, two different courts await his appearance. Thanks so much for listening. Sure you subscribe to our channel, share this report across all these platforms, and bye for now, please. Okay, bye for now.